Hi guys, Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got Android Oreo running on my Pixel XL. Um, you can also run on Pixel and a bunch of other Google devices. And if you guys want to try this out, let me show you how you can do it. Pretty easy to do. Let's go do this, baby. This method will erase everything on your Google device. Um, so make sure you back up everything and we'll begin. So the first thing you're gonna do is power off your device, hold the volume down and hit the power button. I'll be using a Google Pixel for this. All right, once you see this menus here, you're gonna go ahead and connect it to your computer via a USB type C or USB type B cable, depending on which phone you have. And then let's go to our computer. All right guys, next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and download fastboot.zip. Um, I'll have links where you can download it. The download link is at the bottom. Make sure you click on, click here to download. Don't click on the ads. Uh, also, you'll need drivers if you're using Windows. Um, you can also use Linux or Mac. You don't need drivers. Make sure you download drivers for Windows. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and type Google firmwares on Google. Go to factory images for Nexus and Pixel devices. And this is where you can find out whether you can install uh, 8.0 Oreo or not. So the first device we have is Pixel XL. All right, I've got a Pixel, I got a regular Pixel here. So I'm gonna go um, download the one for Pixel and you'll see that Oreo is available. I'm gonna go ahead and download the latest one here. Go ahead and click that. And that will start downloading. All right, um, next, if you go all the way down, if you have a Pixel C, obviously you can also get it for that. If you had Nexus 6P, you can also get it for that. Nexus 5X and also Nexus 6. Nope, nothing for Nexus 6. Uh, if you wait around for uh, custom ROM for Nexus 6, it should be available later on. All right, I think those are all the devices available. Oh, also Nexus Player. I don't know who has a Nexus Player. All right, go ahead and download the file. All right, while that should take another five minutes or so. All right, while that's downloading, go ahead and double click uh, on fastboot.zip, extract all files, all right? And you'll get a folder with fastboot with all the files you need for both, uh, for all Windows, Mac, or Linux. All right, for Mac or Linux, um, process is pretty much the same, just the commands are slightly different. Uh, I have the uh, alternative code you gotta type. All right, so follow that. Um, also, go ahead and download USB underscore driver if you're using Windows. All right, let me actually, you're supposed to plug it in. I unplugged it just for a second. All right, once you uh, unzip it, you'll get a folder with USB underscore driver. Now, you'll get an error that if you didn't install drivers yet, you can go to um, hardware and sound, go to device manager. If you don't know how to get a device manager on your Windows, um, go Google it. All right, you should see an exclamation mark with Android, or it could say Pixel or whatever your device. Double click on that, go to update driver, and then don't click on the search automatically, click on browse my computer for driver software. And don't click on here, um, click on let me pick from a list of device drivers. Click on show all devices, next, have disk, browse, go to your download folder, oops, um, go to your download folder and go into the USB driver folder you just unzipped. All right, click on Android underscore winusb.inf, hit open, hit OK, choose uh, Android bootloader interface, next, say install, and you will see that Android boot bootloader interface there. Once you have that, you're ready to go with the drivers. Go click out of it. Um, also, we're gonna go ahead. And, uh, the we're gonna go ahead and double click on the actual firmware file. So right now we got sailfish blah 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 dot zip. Double click it. Extract all files. All right. Depending on which Google device you're using, uh, it could be called Marlin if you're using Pixel XL. Uh, Nexus 6P is um, what's Nexus 6P? Nexus 6P. Uh, it is called, sorry, Angler and Bullhead for 5x. 
All right, once that's downloaded, you're gonna go ahead and double click on uh, the folder, go into the folder, folder where it has all the files. Now you're gonna go um, click on bootloader sailfish blah blah dot img the the file that ends in img. All right, also the image file and the radio. Use the control button on your keyboard and select all and do a copy. Go back to your downloads folder. Go to your fastboot folder and you're gonna go ahead and paste everything here. All right, once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt. Go to uh, search and type CMD, hit enter. This will bring you a command prompt. For Mac or Windows, open up a terminal. All right, um, next we're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads, enter. Go ahead and type CD fastboot, enter. And we're gonna go ahead and type fastboot space flash space. We'll flash the bootloader first, so type bootloader space. Type boot and hit the tab key. Hit the tab key on your keyboard. And it will fill out the name of the uh, your phone for you. And I'll show you what it, it does while it does it. Oops. So go ahead and hit enter, and that will flash the bootloader. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and type Fast boot space reboot dash bootloader. And this will simply reboot into this mode. All right, every time you flash something, you'll have to reboot it. Hit enter, and it will root, reboot right into the bootloader. Again, this will erase everything on your phone. Next, you're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space flash space radio space uh, type RA, then the tab key, it will fill out the radio file for you. Hit enter again, and that will flash the radio. Now hit the arrow key twice, that way you don't have to retype it, or you, you can retype fast boot, reboot bootloader, hit enter, and that will reboot you back into the bootloader. Now for the final flash, we're gonna go ahead and flash the Oreo image. Type fast boot space minus W space update space type uh, image and hit the tab key that will fill out the actual image zip file hit enter and This will start flashing uh, the actual image All right, I'm just gonna leave that alone and give it about uh, five minutes All right, um, and you can see what it's doing right now. It's uh, checking the bootloader which we just flashed to the Oreo also the baseband which is the radio um, sending boot, uh, the boot image. Now it's sending the system image. Like I said, it's gonna erase everything on your phone. And also if you wanna go back to uh, Nougat, you can go ahead and go back uh, here and go ahead and download the latest 7.1.2 and follow the exact same process and you'll be able to go back to Nougat. All right, for those of you rooted, you'll also have to flash back to Nougat first and then reflash twerp and you can go ahead and flash whatever ROM file. Now, if you're coming from a rooted uh, phone with a custom ROM, what you can do is save the twerp directory. Oh, actually make a backup of your ROM, save your twerp directory, copy it to your hard disk, or you can use um, like a USB OTG cable I've got here and put it on your flash drive, back it up there. And then later on, when you go back to Nougat, you can go ahead and restore from twerp very, very easily. I do recommend you get one of these uh, OTG cables. Um, this is actually for USB Type-B, but get one for USB Type-C. Um, that way you can use it with your Pixel. Well, depending on which phone you have. Um, but I think, yeah, right now, only USB Type-C devices are supported for this new firmware. All right, since Nexus 6P is also USB Type-C. All right, it is all done. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna just simply hit power button, that will reboot it, and you should be good to go. All right, we'll go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run my other camera here. It should take another uh, minute or two, and you should be on Oreo. And that's pretty much how you do it. Um, but we'll wait till we actually get to the screen. Now I'm really looking forward to Pixel 2. I hope Google really improved upon it. Ooh, look at that. There you go. So that was really cool, that little animation. Um, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and sign in. 
and now you should be able to enjoy your Oreo uh, 8.0 on your Google Pixel. And thanks guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't screw yourself up like last time. Uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay <laughs> on Android. Click here to subscribe. I'm, 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 I'm.